so I think I talked a little bit about my record, but um, it was great. I think this deck's actually really good. Uh, it's the first deck I've kind of found in Vintage where I feel like the old school style of play where you're just this big showdown machine uh, really works. Um, well, let's go through why that works. So uh, the first thing is that your threats are very light. Uh, they're not very mana intensive. It's very easy to cast Doomsday. Can, like three is much less than the Jace the Mind Sculptor four or Tezzeret five. Uh, it's also easier to assemble than Key Vault and a little less vulnerable to removal. So it's it's a threat that's on par with what people used to have. I think um, we get to play weird broken cards like Necro to add to our threat density. We have a card draw engine uh, that actually works. Uh, Gush is pretty sweet. I actually didn't get the Gush bond anyone, but um, the point is, is that this deck gets to use Gush in a positive way because it doesn't actually need mana to kill your opponent or a significant amount of mana in play. Um, there, you're not comboing Gush with crap like Mana Drain or Jace or other expensive blue-blue spells where you need all your islands in play. Uh, and you kill really fast out of nowhere. So I'm like pretty impressed with this deck doing the true vintage thing, uh, more so than any other deck, especially because, again, your removal is all very well situated at costing basically nothing to use. Or your, shall I not remove, interaction. Um, I actually think this also is like a <laughs> reasonable budget. Like, hear me out. You got to play the Lotus, the Sapphire, the Recall, the Jet. Those are the expensive ones. I don't actually think this walk is necessary. Uh, you could definitely get away without it. So if you're looking for like a deck that doesn't require the full amount of power, uh, this deck's pretty reasonable. Though I think the card I'd replace this with is Imperial Seal, which is actually... Uh, I haven't kept up on the prices, but I think it's about a push. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was really excited for this, what this deck did. It's not really a combo deck in the way that the Storm deck's a combo deck, where you're like shoving threats down your opponent's throat. Um, you're just the best setup deck in the format, uh, by quite a bit. And you're not really exposing yourself to any kind of removal, if you don't have to. Um, there is a little bit of a pinch between Graveyard Hate and Abrupt Decay that you can get yourself into, but I feel like you can fight your way out of it with raw power. Uh, you have a lot of good sideboard options. You don't need a ton of mana, so stacks isn't a night... Well, it's probably bad, but it's not an absolute nightmare, and you do get to play... You know, you've got all these other disruptive spells to sideboard around, so you're not locked into a lot of cards. Um, and you're also more... Like, you also have a lot of the combo power against the Blue Decks Game 1, so you really have a lot of sideboard room to mess with to win the stacks matchup and the dredge matchup if you need the help. I don't know. I really think this deck is great. Um, there's a decent chance I'll play it at Vintage Champs, but I really have to sit down and think about how this card actually works with Tendrils of Agony.